I, I was really excited when I saw the images that were being produced because in order to make some of the research advances that I think we'd like to see, we need very, very high quality images. We need images that essentially can function as a virtual thin section. So for, for anyone who's not familiar, a thin section is a, is a small sample of rock that is cut very thinly. And you, you make direct observations on the microscope. And in doing so, you change magnification, you change different filters to get different information about the rock. And if an image is going to serve us as a virtual thin section, then it needs to be a very, very high quality and contain the potential for all these different kinds of information. And the, the high resolution scanning that's that's being done has really over the you know just the last year few years achieved that level of of quality. So uh, it makes it possible to uh, to scan a thin section and then have an image from which you can directly take the same kind of data that you might hope to get um, from direct observation. I am personally fascinated uh, whenever I see Kitty in action, <laughs> when she brings up an image or a microscope, if you're uh, if you have the chance to be the fly on the wall <laughs> while she's doing that. Um, it's the process that brings all of her experience, but also the ability to get at the details in the image. With the in advancement in technology, as the sneak peek um, has provided us to see, <laughs> the user can be me. <laughs> <laughs> still get a good image and I'm laughing because I'm not a good microscopist uh, once I get a good microscopy image I know how to go process it I work on the image analysis side uh, but I'm not as good as actually obtaining uh, that image so technology enables more users uh, with potentially less training to actually get a very high quality image that is important because we need to get more users. Uh, these days, students have to kind of know more uh, in less time and acquire more skills in less time to be successful. And we need convergence of different fields. So in, a, in order to actually get to that, it's important to have uh, high quality imaging tools. I think I'll jump in and add something here, something else that really impressed me about the system, and that was the speed. The ability to collect these very high quality, data rich images quickly is important because producing images for large numbers of samples is also an important element of some of the research that we would like to do because natural systems have such tremendous heterogeneity that um, by using automated methods that are enabled by these high quality images uh, we could potentially look at many more samples than a, an individual person sitting at a microscope for for weeks on end <laughs>